Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a very simple, basic scope mechanic in your game. So this is all that I'm going to do, is just have a scope where it's zoomed in so you can see further for an FPS game or something like that. So this is a request, so I'm going to be doing it based on that specific thing. So I'll show you right now what we're going to end up with. So it's just going to be something like this. So as you can see, through the scope there, it's zoomed in and you can change how zoomed in it is. And obviously it, you can see it clipping through the gun but obviously you can change that specific for you this is a very quick basic example i have created and like i say you can change how far in it's zoomed in so without further ado let's get right into it so i'll just delete all of these and then we'll start so what we're going to do first is we're going to create our scope blueprint so how we're going to do that is we're going to right click go to blueprint class up here get an actor and i'm just going to call this scope bp or this can be scope two times, scope four times, anything like that, just the different amounts that you want, or you can just have one scope which has all of them, completely based on you. And obviously the name doesn't determine what it actually is, it's just great to keep them all organized for you. So once you've done that, you're gonna open that up straight away, maximize this like so, and what we're gonna do is if you have a scope static mesh that you'd like to use, you'd put that in here, so you go add component, get a static mesh, and add that blueprint in that you want. But for me, I'm gonna be using the scope that's automatically on the first person gun that comes with Unreal in the first person template. So like I say, add in your scope if you'd like. And then once you've done that, the next step is to add in a plane. So we'll get rid of this. We'll go add component again, scroll down and get a plane there, or you can search for it. And then we're just gonna rotate this on the X axis by 90 degrees, like so. And then we're gonna scale this down to be the size we want as well. So this is the size that's gonna fit in your scope. And so this is also where the material is gonna be. So where it's zoomed in, this is where we'll see it. So this is where you want to be at the front of your scope where the player is gonna be looking. So a good size I found earlier for the first person gun, scale wise is 0 0.05 on the X, 0 0.05 on the Y, and one on the Z, like so. So that's quite small. But for me, this is gonna fit the scope that I have. And so obviously if you have a scope static mesh, make it fit that. And what we're also going to do on this is select it and we're going to go down to collision on the right down here. We're going to untick generate overlap events. Can character step up on no collision presets is going to be no collision. And the reason we're doing this is because otherwise when the player walks, it will be technically walking into this, meaning that for the player, there's just gonna be a wall there, so it's gonna be walking backwards or not moving. So if we just turn off the collision, when the player plays the animation to walk, it's not gonna break anything. So this is how we want it. And then what we're gonna do next is get the actual couch component for where we're gonna see and what's gonna zoom in. So go to add component up here, get 2D scene capture component there, scene capture component 2D, and get that in, drag it off the plane, so it's not parented and if it looks like this that's just because it was parented to plane so you can easily fix this up here by setting the scale back to one like that and obviously we we'll want to rotate it again like this obviously if you didn't put it on the plane this won't need be an issue for you but we're going to do this and rotate it so it's facing forwards the same way the plane was like so and as you can see the plane is in there somewhere so i think we can actually just make this smaller so make it 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 maybe even a bit smaller if i Take the padlock there, 0.2. I don't believe this messes about or changes the actual size of the image that we get. It's just what this looks like. And I'm just gonna simply move this so that the lens is just in front of the plane here because obviously the plane is what we're gonna see. And so obviously in real life, you'd be seeing through that, not further ahead. So it's gonna be zooming in there, basically what this plane would be seeing. And this obviously is not gonna be visible in the game. So you won't see a massive camera on your scope. You'll just see the plane mesh there. And obviously if you've got a scope size mesh, you can move this to the front of the scope as that's as realistically in real life, that's where it would be. But for me, this is where I want it. Just make sure it's not behind the plane as anything in front of this camera is what it's gonna see. And so over on the right here, you see we've got the field of view under projection. This is basically how zoomed in it's gonna be. So the smaller the field of view, the more zoomed in it's gonna be. And the higher the field of view, the more zoomed out it will be. So if I change this down to something like 20, that's gonna be fairly zoomed in or maybe 10, that'll be even further zoomed in. So I think I'll just put it at 15, just between those two values there. Obviously put this as whatever you like, just mess about with it to get the perfect value for you and just see what it looks like, how far zoomed in it is to get the perfect values for you. And then also down here, still selected on the scene capture, I'm gonna scroll down until we get to scene capture here. So the texture target, we're gonna click on none and we're gonna create a render target. So up at the top here, under create new asset, we're gonna get a render target and you can put this wherever you want. I'm just gonna leave it in this folder. Obviously organize this better for you. I'm just gonna call this scope underscore RT for render target. And obviously if this is your two times, you'll get scope two times, or if you're four times, scope four times. So make sure it makes sense for you 
and it's well organized for how you want it to be. So once you've done that, hit save there, like so. And we're just gonna minimize this and open that up. So double click on that, I'll select it and press enter to open it. And what we're gonna do here is change the size X to 1048, the size Y to 1048, and also the address X to clamp and the address Y to clamp as well. And what this is gonna do is just make the resolution higher and bigger so it's not blurry. Because if we left it as that, it'd be very small and as it's zooming in on a small image, it will just get blurry and grainy and the resolution will be terrible and it just won't look good. So this is good for me. So this will make that look a lot better. Obviously the higher the size is, the higher the resolution, meaning the more megabytes the image will be, the higher the file size and all that, which obviously you don't want because then it will also start to affect performance as well as just take up a lot of space in your game. So once you've done that, that's all good. So you can save and close that. Minimize this again. And we're gonna right click on the render target. and We're just gonna create a material from that like that. You can hit enter straight away as it will just put underscore mat at the end for material and we're going to go back into our scope blueprint here and select the plane i'm going to just change the material of this plane to that render target we just created so i called mine scope underscore render target material like that now for you this may just look like an untextured plane at the moment but that's just because there's nothing here to actually render and we haven't placed it in the world or anything yet so this will work we just have to wait till we're using it so if we save this we're now done with this so if we minimize this and now if we open up our character or our gun so this is basically where we want to place the scope so if you want to put the scope in your character or if you have a separate blueprint for your gun you're going to place it there so mine is in my character here so we just edit character there so basically open up your character and go to the viewport and what we want to do to be able to add this uh, scope in is go to add component up here and add a child actor like so and you're going to parent this to what you want it on so i'm going to parent this to the gun up here like so and if i move this over a little bit just so i can see what you're going to do is over here under child actor component get the child actor class and select the scope we have just made for me that is scope bp and as you can see this is now in here like this that size how we want i'm just going to rotate it so it's facing the correct way for the player like so so that's good and then again i found some values earlier so move this about for where you want it and how it looks good for you but the values I found for this specific gun model where I have it in the positioning of this character as well is I'm just going to actually copy and paste these values that I got earlier because they're very unique kind of thing. So if I right click on here and paste, as you can see, it's minus 0 0.25 pretty much, 5 and then 19.366, all that. So that should now be done. So if we hit compile, this is now in here. So we have the scope material that's zoomed in in the positioning we want it to be in on our gun. And we've also set it up so that we have that material working. So if we now minimize this, and if we hit play to test it, you should see that this now works perfectly. So as you can see, we have the scope on our gun here in the correct positioning for me. And obviously when we're looking, we now have it zoomed in. And so like I say again, we can change how zoomed in it is. So we go back to the scope, click on the camera. If I change this to 10, this should be more zoomed in. So if we have a look, as you can see, that is more zoomed in. So you can see I've got a gun up here, but that's just because I'm in the first person template. I've deleted the character. This just is the VR gun, which spawns in. So you don't need to worry about that. There's nothing that'll be on your project, but this is zoomed in. The lower the value, the more zoomed in it gets. So again, I'll change that again, set it down to two. This will be very zoomed in. There you go. You see how much more zoomed in it is now. So I just come over here a little bit, look over, there you go. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. We've created a scope mechanic in which we can change how zoomed in the scope actually is and we've placed it on our gun so we can see that it's all zoomed in like that. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.